Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangerosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Today we'll work at a new tutorial and we like to work a little bit with a internal rendering engine, the iRay for 3ds Max. So today we'll try to use the uh, Photoreal Interior environment we prepared for the Photoreal Interior with V-Ray series and we'll use it to make a photo rear render using a ray so we have not to model all the stuffs uh, from zero and we can just work on the shaders and lighting and the rendering so uh, let's close the, st the state sets and let's start working with, uh, uh, with the scene um, we can open the material editor and we have it there a lot of things obviously will be uh, not renderable but let's see which states we are using the daylight okay nice so uh, we have to work on the materials and all the other steps so we can reset the material editor okay and we'll use the uh, material explorer to work on all the materials we have inside the scene so uh, you see those are all the materials we have to fix and uh, let's start working on the first we make obviously uh, an instance okay and we'll work on this material the first tree so uh, also the lighting must be changed and we have to fix the lighting actually you see we have a daylight system and the daylight system is done using V-Ray obviously we have to change it so first thing we have to say that we are using um, I-Ray for the rendering and mental ray to be faster inside the material editor uh, then for the moment let's go lower uh, at 800 for the resolution and there let's say in the other that we are using just the uh, Tesla Arthur and there we are using 16 thread to be faster okay so uh, let's change there and we go for mental ray sun and there mental ray sky then we have to check in the exposure we have the V-ray sky we need the mental ray sky so mental ray physical sky let's make a copy there to see if everything is perfect okay let's say that the size is one so it is the real scale and let's go for the uh, mental ray photographic exposure and we go for physically based light, uh, lighting indoor the light so we can start to make uh, some rendering but you see we are using all uh, V-Ray physical camera that means that if we go to render there and we try to make a render let's remove okay you see it is preparing the rendering and now it is rendering but you see we see nothing inside there if we use just for a moment a material override and there we prepare um, let's say an arc in the sign and with no reflectivity and we assign this one as an instance and we go to render it is transforming the scene to be rendered and now it is rendering but actually we see nothing and that's maybe due to the presence of the glasses so just for a moment we can hide for example this one is the box 005 and try to render again just to see if we have to rework the camera 
or we can use the old camera from V-Ray. As you see, the camera are working fine, so we can use this one. Okay, so uh, let's remove this one and hide by name. And that's the box number five. Let's say glass big. And then we have for sure also the other glasses there. And we have to change also this uh, model. So that's the window there with all the stuff. So we can go directly inside the material there. so we can change the glass as the first one. That's the glass. And we go there and we use the arc and the sign. And we do uh, a black color, a little bit of reflectivity and we go for a really high transparency maybe something like that and then about the error we have one four and we can use one for the error for the refraction and we go for uh, something like that for the uh, reflectivity so uh, then now we should have lighting inside the environment I have to check the other window This one, so let's go to pick the material from this one. Okay, we can copy the same paste as a copy, so we can tweak the material if needed. So uh, you see, that's the result. So we have the right lighting coming inside uh, the uh, the environment. So let's remove the material right and we can start working on the uh, Barry's material there. So this one is the, uh, you see the parquet. So we can make a clone there. So we have all the parameters needed. And then we start back to have the right material. So it is an arc on the sign. And obviously we use the same map we are using there, so it will be not so slow to make all the changes. And let's do this one, then we need also the reflection map. And we'll use this one as paste, as a copy. And we say that the reflectivity is really high. And then we say that that's with the higher -er and let's see the general map we have the right map set there okay then uh, we have the glossiness map let's copy and we put it there then let's check the IRR we were using there one six so let's set to one six there and we have the IRR there. Let's see if we have also a bump map. It's set to off, but we can put there and then we see if it is needed. So paste and we go for a low amount to so 0.15. Nice. Let's change also the wall there. We are using just a nice color and a really low amount of reflectivity so uh, we have also this one this band so we can make the same thing we make a copy there and then there we go for having an arc on the sign and then we set this one as a band paste let's go for zero two and then there we have the noise so copy and let's go to put it in the color 
past and the reflectivity is not so high but let's double check it is partially gray so we can go for a lower level let's say uh, 0 35 and there we have 0 7 or maybe 0 6 okay then uh, there we have multi sub objects and we have two material so uh, let's say that the first one is the wall number two so let's copy it as a copy and we have the same kind of material so for the moment we can make a copy from this one so copy and paste and then if we have to fix something we can do it then there we have a more complex material so let's copy there I'm oh, sorry let's copy this map there okay so uh, we have this map so uh, there we have to use an arc and the sign and we have this one paste we have this one for the reflection and we have this one for the glossiness let's go for 1.6 for the IRR and set by IRR for the reflectivity and let's copy the BAMP paste let's go for lower level and then there we have also the uh, displacement so copy and paste we have to see later if it is too much let's start saving the scene so we go in the May and there we say 3ds max rendering photoreal interior with heat ray okay uh, let's redo a render just to see if it's going right okay you see that the uh, the wall is rendering the uh, pavement too obviously we have to tune all the steps because it is not done to work in this way okay cancel and let's work on more shader so we can clean up and let's go to work on the other material so we have the seating let's make an instance the white wood window the glass window is done and then we have the dark wood okay let's start working from the first one let's make a copy there and here we work for an arc on the sign and we use the same map and then let's use this one for the reflection and this one for the glossiness let's go for one six for the IRR and set by error error. Let's see if we have a bump and paste. Okay. We have there a white wood. Let's copy. There again an arc and the sign. And we copy this map mm. and paste. And this one again as a reflectivity but there we have to copy the color because you see we are using a, a white color there so uh, let's go to check there what we are doing 
we have to do a mix keep all map the second one is white let's say 30 percent so we have the uh, 70 uh, percent usage of the map and then we need to use the bamp map copy and paste let's set to by your IRR and let's go for one six same thing for the dark wood there we are using just a dark color so it is dark it has no reflectivity so let's say copy and there we can just create an arc and design with a dark color and no reflectivity okay save let's make a new preview so you see that actually it's working uh, we have also the wood there so we can move forward and work on more materials let's remove everything obviously now we are just translating the material and then we'll work to have something specific see if we need to uh, change something so we work it until there so the art one then we have the neutral white and the uh, sorry the carpet okay let's close the first one is the art one and you see it's a really simple material we have just the map so copy and then we say arc and design and we go for paste and we have no reflectivity then uh, let's move to the next one is the neutral white and you see that we have a little bit of stuff we have to uh, simulate so let's copy it there and there we go for an arc in the sign you see that we have a white color so we go for white and we go for a little bit of redness. then we have just uh, 0 2 for the reflectivity and we have the glossiness is set to 0 5 let's try to use the same maybe also uh, less let's say 35 and then we have the IRR set to 1 6 and that's all so uh, let's go for 1 6 and set the IRR for the reflectivity the carpet let's copy the material and then we need copy uh, let's go for an arc and design and paste let's go to see the uh, various parameters there we have a reflectivity of 0 3 so 0 3 and we have the glossiness to 0 7 and the error so uh, let's go for 0 6 or maybe 0 5 and then we go for 1 6 for the the IRR by IRR and then let's see if we have something more we have the anisotropy to 0 3 okay something like that um, we have also a bump map for sure and we have this place the displace map is on the modifier so let's copy this one and put inside the displacement paste let's go for 0 3 just to start okay let's make a preview for this area just to see if the carpet is working okay we have too much reflectivity over the carpet and we don't see the displacement so uh, first thing 
let's go to have a lower refractivity let's go for 15 and let's go for a lower glossiness you see that the parameter uh, works in a different way in both uh, rendering engine let's see about the displacement it is set to uh, to on so we have to understand if we need just to have a higher level let's say 20 uh, maybe 5 and let's see what happened okay now it is clear you see that we have to work on the texture to have a better result so we can do it later uh, let's remove the region so we go for the render view and let's continue working on the other materials so let's uh, remove the shaders we just prepared and let's go to the next one so uh, rendering material explorer we have the carpet as the lattice one uh, we have the table center the table glass and the white gum okay so the first one is the table center you see that we have a wood material and a chrome material the chrome material will be really simple we can do it manually so arc on the sign and we go for a black color then we go for an eye reflectivity let's say that we have 0 0.75 for the glossiness and the IRR is set to 14 uh, we go for uh, by IRR and let's change a little bit the anisotropy then back to the other material we have a wood material let's copy and there we can go for an arc and design and there we go to copy the first one is the diffuse map and we go to oh sorry we were there to copy it there then we have the reflection map and we'll use it for the reflection then there we have a reflectivity uh, and the glossiness so let's use this one for the glossiness the error is set to 1.6 so we go for 1.6 and we say to use the error for the reflectivity then we see if we have a bad map but we are not using then we have the table glass and you see it's just a simple uh, glass we have a little bit of coloring so uh, let's try to simulate something like that with the uh, arc and the sign we don't need to have the diffuse uh, the reflectivity will be high and the glossiness will be just a little bit and the transparency uh, let's go for a color and we go for something like that and we say that the transparency is maybe 0 08 and we have just a little bit of glossiness for the transparency 2 and we have there 1 4 for the IRR and let's say that the reflectivity is uh, linked to the IRR or maybe we can use just a little bit okay something like that and let's see maybe we need a little bit of bumping so we go for a noise but it will be really really low so let's go for 005 nice the white gam you see it's just a simple gam material so we can do it manually so we'll have a white color we'll have a little bit of reflectivity a really high glossiness 
and the IRR is set to 1.6 and the uh, reflectivity is done using the IRR let's see a new preview so you see it is uh, going in the right way obviously we have some stuff to uh, fix also the reflection on the ground is not so nice but we can move forward and work on more materials so let's remove this one this one and this one and let's add the other so uh, let's go there the white gamma okay so uh, the sphere base as an instance the chromic and the candle okay so uh, let's start working on the first one we have uh, we see that this one is the sphere base so we have this uh, map to add the displacement so this one is a really simple material we have a reflectivity a really huge uh, reflection glossiness and we have a little bit of anisotropy so let's go for an arc design we have the black color we have a really nice reflectivity but we have also a really high glossiness we have the IRR set to 1.6 1.6 uh, a little bit of anisotropy the IRR and we have the displacement and that's the map okay later we can fix it so we can set to off the uh, split the displacement modifier this one is a chromic and again we can do it manually so we have a black color a really high reflectivity just a little bit of glossiness uh, let's say 16 for the IRR the anisotropy And the reflection set by the IRR. The candle is a little bit more complex so we have to simulate uh, the candle so let's go for this uh, version this camera let's make a copy of this one so back there uh, the candle you see is a white color then we have a little bit of reflectivity so let's start with an arc design let's copy the diffuse color let's say that we have uh, maybe let's say uh, 40 so maybe 0, 05 for the reflectivity uh, we have 0, 07 so let's say maybe 0, 05 in the glossiness there for uh, the uh, i ray 164 the IRR and we have the uh, refraction the refraction is a little bit you see so let's say maybe 0, 025 we have a really huge closeness so let's say 0, 15 and then you see that we have the fog color we can use this one trying to simulate something inside the translucent C so we go there we say paste for this color and now we have just to simulate let's see if we have some more maps no so we have just to see if it works let's try to use a really high value and let's say to use the IRR for the reflectivity too so let's render this point of view in a preview okay as you see it's just a work in progress but it seems not bad we have for sure to fix the uh, displaced there and then we have to fix for example the reflectivity on the table and some stuff but 
we can say that the candle is not bad. Uh, let's peek just for a moment the material from the vase. And let's say that the displacement is uh, lower. Let's say maybe 35. And let's say that's the, the map. So we have to use this one, invert. Okay, uh, so let's remove all the material we just prepared. And let's go for the next one. So, Material Explorer, and let's go to the candle glass, the black candle, and the art number two. We are talking about really simple material this time. This one is really simple, so let's copy this one. Is ours. the previous one? We need just to put the bitmap and we have no reflectivity. Uh, that's the black candle, it's just a black color with a little bit of reflectivity. So we go for an arc design and we'll have a black color with a little bit of reflectivity and a really high, maybe less reflectivity. Uh, then we have there the black candle, the candle glass. Uh, this one is a little bit more complex. Uh, we have a gold material, a glass material and another material. So let's start working with the gold. Let's use this one. Uh, we have 0, 8 and 4, the 4, the reflectivity and let's see, okay, nice. Uh, so arc design and we go for a black color we paste the same color for the reflectivity. We say that it is huge. We have a little bit of reflectivity. We have four for the IRR. We have a metallic anisotropy and we have the IRR for reflectivity. Then we have a glass and this glass uh, you see as a color so uh, let's say that we use this color as copy, okay. So uh, arc design, black for the color, high, a little bit of glossiness, and we go for zero one, uh, for, for the IRR, let's say one in the IRR, and we'll have a little bit of transparency and we'll have a little bit of anisotropy and there we go to have a little bit less value for the zero degree. Okay, now we have to work on the last material and the last material is just a black with a reflectivity. So. We go for a black color and a little bit of reflectivity a little bit of glassiness and let's use the IRR for reflectivity. Nice, let's remove all this material and let's pick the new one. Oh, sorry, we have some problem there. So we have the chrome lamp as an instance. The big lamp. And the power cord. Okay. The first one is a chrome lamp, so you see it's just a chrome material. And again. Art in the sign, black color, a huge reflectivity, a little bit of glossiness, uh, let's say 12 for the IRR, let's say to use the freshener reflection, and let's go for 
the anisotropy. Okay, the second one is a big lamp material and we have the black with a little bit of reflectivity so the first material is really simple arc the sign and we go for black we have a little bit of reflectivity a little bit of glossiness the fractional error and we have also a little bit of anisotropy let's go to check the second one the second one is a white So it is a white with a little bit of reflectivity. So our sign. Let's go for a near white color. A little bit of reflectivity with a little bit of glossiness. And we have one six for the IRR. Just a little bit of anisotropy and the IRR. The last one, the power cords, it's just, you see, a really simple grey material. Let's see if we have something inside the maps. So arc and the sign, paste the color, just a little bit of reflectivity with just a little bit of glossiness, one six in the IRR and we use the IRR there. Sorry, one, six. Okay, uh, let's remove this material and let's move to the next series. So, uh, Material Explorer and we have the power cords there let's go for the windows metal there the black ground window and the glass big window for the moment we can not use it because it is hidden at the art number three okay so the first one is a window metal and we are talking about a gray metal with Eight for the error, so we can go for arc design. We will have a gray color with a little bit of reflectivity, a really high glossiness. Let's go for two for the error and a little bit of anisotropy and the error. The next one is just the black with uh, soft glossiness so arc the sign a black color let's say with lower reflectivity a really high glossiness 1.6 for the error and error for the reflectivity the art number three is simple copy arc the sign and paste and no reflectivity and save let's remove again that shader and let's work on a new series we have the brown furniture, the black glossy lamp and the upper little lamp. Okay, let's close. The first one is a brown furniture, so this one needs to have a copy because we have to change a lot of things. Let's go to use an arc design. Copy the diffuse map. Paste. 
copy the reflection map and copy the glossiness map. Then we have also the back map, copy. Let's go for IORR and set one six. Paste and let's say zero fifteen. Let's check for more steps. We have nothing more to do. Okay, black glossy lamp. Uh, we have a black with huge reflectivity and huge glossiness. So, arc the sign. Black, huge glossiness. One six for the IRR and a little bit of anisotropy. Uh, this one, you see, it's a little bit more complex, so we do a copy. It is an arc in the sign. And we'll have this color for the diffuse paste. Then we have a huge reflectivity. So let's say that the reflectivity is 100% with a little bit of glossiness and then we have the refraction and it is really high so let's go in the transparency let's say it's 0 7 and the glossiness is really high and we have this fog color so let's use this one for the transparency and let's say that we have a really huge in there let's say maybe just one dot two and a little bit of anisotropy and the reflectivity will be a little bit lower okay let's remove and back in the uh, material explorer we have the glasses we have the liquids the white base and I copy also the sofa because it is a big part of our environment so we can play with the entire scene in this way okay the first one is a glasses you see this one is simple so we adjust to simulate a glass material and we go for a black color with huge reflectivity just a little bit of glassness and we say that we have one four for the IRR, a really high transparency. And we use the same for the IRR there. So that's our class. For the liquids, let's go for something like V ray material. with no coloring, a little bit of reflectivity with one five and we go for red and will be obviously higher the transparency but it will be higher the glossiness too and the reflectivity is done using the IORR the white base is white with a little bit of reflectivity so we go for near white color a little bit of reflectivity maybe just a little bit less a little bit of glossiness 
and one six and set to I order. Let's go to work at the sofa material. You see that we have this texture, so we can copy it there. And we have this color, so we can use an arc design with this color there. Then let's see the other stuff we have. We have this map for the reflectivity. Paste. And then we have a map for the glossiness. The IOR is set to 2 and we say to use the IOR for this one and let's use an higher level of anisotropy and we should have a map map too. So this one and let's say at 0 4. Okay, save and let's try to do a preview. Okay, so that's the actual result. We have to fix some stuff as the reflection level there and on the later material too. So we can start maybe just fixing this two stuff and then we can move to the next part on next Monday. So uh, let's go in the material editor. We have this one there and the second one can be created there so we copy the wood material there so uh, the first thing is we need a different color there so you see we need something okay nice and something more that can be done is in the boot the error but we have to tweak the map there because it works in a different way than high ray so Let's prepare a test render there. And you see that now it is better, but I think we can fix a little bit the reflectivity too. So let's go to have a little bit less reflectivity and Let's go to have more glossiness too. Then let's render a little piece there. It can be still lower. So let's go there and inside this map we go lower. And let's retry. And it is for sure better than the previous one. Let's change the glass there too. Uh, we'll use a lower reflectivity and a little bit less bump. So let's go for 25. And about the reflectivity, let's go for 4. And a little bit more transparency, let's go to 0, 9. And a little bit more glossiness. Let's try. Okay, it is better than the previous one. So uh, I think that for the moment we can stay with this version of the scene. And in the next part, uh, we'll prepare the part, the new part for the next Monday. We'll finalize the scene. So we'll focus to create the lattice shader during the conversion and we'll try to adjust the rendering and some shaders as we are doing actually 
to have the best result possible doing a conversion. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on MaxCookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye!